Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a pick a card reading and this is pile number one, this is pile number two, this is pile number three. We have for pile number one rose quartz, for pile number two we have amethyst, for pile number three we have black tourmaline. So close your eyes, connect, feel which one you're drawn to and in the description there is timestamps. Go to the reading you are drawn oh, to. Number one, you chose Rose Quartz. And the cards that have come out are Right and Knowledge. And these cards that I'm using are Return of Spirit by Cheryl Lee Harnish. They're absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm going to read you out of the description book what these two mean and then i'll pick some cards from the right away tarot so write this card it says in the book there is an expression in english about words being printed in black and white by drawing this card spirit is affirming to you that you need to get your words written down on paper is there something you have thought about writing? It could be poultry, a child's book, a song, a letter, a website, a channeled message, a book, or even a speech. Whatever it may be, the energy of putting your thoughts, ideas, and information into a tangible form of manifestation is here. Do not put it off any longer. If you are having doubts, that's fine. Just acknowledge them and take action anyway. It's important you do, as this is going to lead to something more. Your creative force and expression is powerful, probably more powerful than you are aware of. What you have to say, share and bring forward to others can be very influential and appreciated. Trust yourself. And the words that come to you be mindful not to judge whatever you're writing seems good enough you just need to allow yourself to start if you have already begun the writing process then it is important for you to receive this encouragement from your guides and angels as you continue towards completion you can do this your words are needed you are doing great trust what is coming through you trust that you were made to do this just keep going not everyone is born with the gift of purpose to write but you were now is your time to shine in doing this the right card can also indicate a need to begin journaling this could be in the form of a diary however it could also be that you need to start recording the ideas thoughts and teachings you are receiving there is important information in your writing words wow okay the next card is knowledge i will read you out of the book what knowledge has to say knowledge is a gift that is meant to be shared with others most often this card comes to those who are teachers of those who facilitate the transference of information to others in some way the knowledge card is here to reaffirm the understanding that you play an important role in bringing through information, teachings and higher learning to others. You help others to advance through what you have to share. This is a gift. If you have been doubting yourself and your abilities, then it is time to let go. Trust yourself and what it is you have to offer. As a tool of spirit, you are here to help rise the consciousness and awareness of others in this planet. 
oftentimes it is those who are born to teach and exchange knowledge who doubt they have anything worthwhile to share. This is the very reason the knowledge card has come to you today. It is time to step out of your own way to let go of your doubts and fears about claiming you. You were born to take up space here. You were born to share what you have. Spirit is acknowledging this for you to help encourage you onwards. Look carefully at fractal Im images, and that's these images on the card. And you will see an energy line coming straight from the top, this one, down into the crown chakra of the being. It, can, it then continues to flow through and out of the being. This represents you. Spirit is attempting to show you that what you have to teach comes directly from above, from the universe. It is intended to be delivered to and shared with the world. To doubt your knowledge is to doubt spirit. Trust what you have. Know you can do this. Spirit is backing you on this and encouraging you to embrace the teacher you are born to be. That is a beautiful message for those that have special gifts of writing and the knowledge these two cards go hand in hand so i'm just going to shuffle these cards and see what else comes out ten of swords so there's some sort of ending mental ending coming so maybe that might be you doubting yourself that is ending and the three of wands tells me that your ships are set in sail so you've put things into perspective and you're seeing the results here one more card i'll just let it all out oh. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. So the Eight of Pentacles tells me that you will be working really hard and you will be making financial gain through your gifts. And with the Lovers card here, I see that you are loving what you are doing with the writing and knowledge. So you have the knowledge and you're going to put it down on paper or whatever way that is, express it to the world. And I see you will be very successful. You will be finan you will be financial with the Eight of Pentacles and your plans will take off and you'll no longer feel trapped by your mental thoughts because there's an ending here with the Ten of Swords. That, that mental anguish will be ending and you're going to absolutely love this new journey that you were going to go on. So I hope you like that. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is pile number two people and this is the amethyst that you chose. And we have the union card and the manifest card so i'm going to read out of the book and these are the cards that i'm using here return of spirit by cheryl lee harnish
I'll read out of the book what the union card means and then the manifest, and then I'll pull some cards from the tarot. Union card represents the energy of two loving souls coming together in union or partnership. If a current relationship is in question, then this card indicates a positive energy involved. This card can represent the beginning of a new relationship or one that is about to start. Most often, the union card represents intimate relationships. However, it can also point to other types of partnerships such as business partnerships, very close friendships, or even roommates. In any case, the union card communicates the predestined, predestined con Convergence of two souls connecting. However, no, whoever the person is that is in your life right now or whoever it is that is coming into your life is of great significance as far as your soul lessons are concerned. This is a beautiful opportunity for personal growth and conscious expansion of your heart center. Sometimes these relationships bring up our deeply held beliefs about the quality of love we feel we deserve. They can help to raise our consciousness and understanding so that we feel safe to allow this person to see into the deepest, most vulnerable parts of ourself with these types of relationships one thing is for certain you will grow and learn from them enjoy all the good this union has to offer be as open as possible to recognizing your triggers fears and old patterns of behavior be mindful of when you are feeling the need to hide or protect yourself or if you begin to fear losing their love. This will enable you to consciously address and heal any old issues and wounds of the past. This is a part of the soul agreement that you and this person share you have came come together to help each other to become whole healed and open to love in every way oh that's so beautiful so it looks like this reading is a love reading and i'm going to read the manifest card now energetically everything is falling into place you are coming into a high point where you will find you are able to easily manifest the people things and situations you need to carry you forward on your journey the energy of manifestation is a creative force and right now it is in full flow for you stay focused on where you want to go in your life and how you want to feel. Don't worry about the details of what you think life should look like. The universe is infinitely wiser than we are. With our human point of view, just know and trust that things will come to you when in perfect order and in perfect time. We don't manifest anything that is not part of our soul's plan. So while you may not win a lottery, you can expect to experience abundance and ease while these energies are here. This is a great time to play with and learn about the order of manifesting. While you will notice that most of what is manifested is done by a higher self, a smaller portion will be manifested from your conscious mind. Explore it fully and have fun with it. Anything can be manifested at this time. So do not limit your potential. Your soul knows no limits. 
you are a creator and able to naturally turn energy into physical manifestation. You can use this power of manifestation to help you gain understanding about your purpose, to help connect you to the right people or organizations, or even aid you in gaining the financial resources you require. Really, the sky is the limit with this one. Enjoy it while it lasts. Hold in mind that it wasn't intended that you use your ability to manifest for yourself only. You can also use this to help others who may not be able to help others right now. Wow. I would say that getting these two, it's telling me that you manifested this person into your life. And it is meant to be. You asked for it and you received. Okay, so I'm just going to see what comes out with the tarot. If the tarot wants to tell me something else to go with this message. Okay, and one came out, turned upside down, and we have a page of cups. Oh, the Page of Cups is telling me that you didn't think this was going to happen. That you thought pigs may f were going to fly first. So you definitely didn't expect this. The Empress. She is the mother, daughter, sister or friend. And she is abundant energy. And it's also my pregnancy card. So there may be an unexpected pregnancy or a planned pregnancy. Hmm, I'm feeling like it's unexpected. Unexpected pregnancy coming. Ooh, the magician. And the magician is all about manifestation. You are the creator of your own world and you create everything that you bring into your life and you can do that. So I feel like just with the manifest card and the magician that is just clarifying that you have pulled amazing things into your life that you wanted. So you pulled in that new relationship, that soulmate connection and I can see that you're pulling in another child or a child, a pregnancy, or giving birth to something grand, but you'd never ever expected this with the Page of Cups. You thought pigs might fly first, but it's happening. And then the six, number six card, the lovers, this just tells me again that this is a really, really beautiful relationship. It's a twin flame relationship. It's a very, very deep soul connection. And it looks really beautiful. So congratulations. I hope that resonated with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next reading. Bye. You chose Black Tourmaline. And the cards that came out are Shifting and Violet Flame. Now I'm going to read these two cards from the book. And I'm these this deck is Return of the Spirit by Cheryl Lee Harnish. They're so beautiful, these cards. I've got all of her decks. And we will start off with shifting. Our personal and spiritual growth occurs in a series of rhythms and patterns. When we reach a certain level of experience and understanding, life will move into a holding pattern as we master it. Things will fall into a steady, reliable pattern. 
We come to know what to expect and how things are going to be. And because we humans are creatures of comfort and habit, we usually enjoy hanging out on the plateau where things are familiar and reliable. This card has come to you today because you are either about to enter into or you are already are in one of those great shifts. It is a necessary part of your growth and higher learning. You are moving to a new level of consciousness and awareness. In order for this to happen, some of the old ways of life and of being must fall away to make room for a new. You may find yourself changing jobs or careers. Old friends or relationships may drift away as new people enter your life. You may move into a new home or have a sudden change in finances or an energetic level. Your consciousness is opening to the hidden wounds you carry. More than likely, you are feeling very far out of your comfort zone, possibly even experience situational depression. This shift is vital and necessary. Rem remain as calm as you can while the earth shakes under your feet. You will find yourself quite pleased with this new consciousness and way of being. Once this shift is complete, in the meantime, try to stay open as these energies occur. It may not feel comfortable, but you will come through this as a more evolved and stable person. Wow. So things are shifting. Now let's see what the Violet Flame card has to say. Uh, where are you? Most of us experience a dark or difficult time at some point or another in our lives. And through it may feel like it will never end or never be better. The Violet Flame card is here to tell you that it will be. The only way to conquer the shadows in our life is to turn off all the lights and face the darkness head on. This is a process of purification. The violet flame shines its lights, providing you with the way and means to see your way out of the inner darkness. Once the shadows have been conquered, the experience you are having right now, although painful and challenging, is providing you with the means and opportunity to clearly see what is and is not working in your life anymore. It can help you to see how you have been allowing yourself to be in the world and how you have been holding yourself back. It can help bring the clarity to recognize the people who help serve your high school and those who do not. In the center of the fractal image, which is here, The symbol of the bat. That's right, there's a symbol of the bat. In animal medicine, the bat is a symbol of change. He holds the light of the violet flame for you as a means of guiding you through this process of change. When you do make your way back, you will find that neither you nor your life is exactly the same as before. Change is an inevitable part of this process. It is clear, nearly complete, sweet soul. Just know that once you have made your way through, you will be stronger both within yourself and on your journey. 
you will have more clarity about your path and how you want to walk it. So it looks like the person that chose this reading could be going through the dark night of the soul. And things are shifting and you will be a better person once you get through it. So let's see what tarot messages come out. Queen of Swords. Too many came out then. Queen of Swords to me looks like she's doing a lot of thinking there. This one turned upside down, and that is the Eight of Swords. So these are mental cards that are coming out, Five of Swords. So he looks like it's his head's hurting, but the Five of Swords to me is um, the battle is over. And in the background here, we have a man, and he looks like he's surrendering. And we have the Eight of Pentacles again, which tells me that you have been working through this process and the light at the end of the tunnel is nearly near or is near and you will feel a shift of great success and abundance and things are getting better. And then we have the Queen of Wands. And she, to me, she is saying, I did it. Yay, I did it. She's very happy with herself. She's over the moon. She got through the, sh the, sh the shit and the dark times. And all I can say to you is hold in there. Things look better on the horizon. You're going to get through this. And things will be better, way better than before. So I hope that resonated with you and you like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.